Hey guys, Kill Lancer here. Once another Kill Lancer Gaming. Don't forget the bell button, the subscribe button to get the notifications to my channel. Alright, guys, we got some more gaming news. And uh this is about uh Jason. It's uh March 22nd. It's, it's, it's been posted March 22nd. Uh DBZ uh Kakarot's uh developer reveals trailer for a new uh Demon Slayer game. Uh and Pixel uh, announces a new game from CyberConnect 2 based on the anime Demon Slayer uh coming to the PS4 next year. Okay, that's a long wait. I don't even know why they announced it this early. Should have waited till like near the end of the year. Uh, but anyway, let's let's dive into it. Uh, video game well, was it? Video games based on Japanese uh, anime are a dime a dozen. One of the most recent titles to the genre of a lot of attention uh, 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 was a uh, garner a lot of attention online was uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, which is still seeing support since its uh, release in January through updates like a time uh, a time machine allowing players to re uh, experience story events. Today, the Sony um, sub uh, subsidiary uh, anime um, anime and music production uh, company uh, and Pixel announced that uh, Kakarot's developer CyberConnect2 are working on a new game called Demon Slayer. Okay. The game, uh, based on last year's popular anime series adapted from the manga created in 2016, is being made with Unreal Engine, just like DB, was just like a DBZ uh, K, and will be uh, available in uh, 2021 on PlayStation 4 in, Jap in Japan. Its developer was also responsible for Naruto Shippuden and Ultimate Ninja Storm trilogy that released on Nintendo Switch in 2018. Demon Slayer first uh, fury into the uh, into the uh, interactive medium. Uh, will be uh, published by Impixel rather than Namco Bandai or Bandai Namco, as was the case with uh, Kakarot. Okay, that's different. Um, okay, let's see. So, uh, Impixel revealed the trailer is just about uh, the definition of a teaser, showing a brief cinematic of Demon Slayer uh, protagonist uh, Tenji Aurora, uh and what it looks like what it looks like to be uh, apply, applying uh, cell shaded. Uh, st uh, style doing uh, doing what uh, he does best slaying a demon in the hot-blooded pursuit of revenge the original trailer has been made unavailable in America but we republished uh, on YouTube for an English audience but uh, was about the online publication uh, Gimetsu now guys I've never seen this trailer so we're gonna take a look at it and I'll react to it it's probably not gonna be that long okay I've never watched the anime before. I was hoping the anime would be released in like English, but I'm going. To, I guess I wanted to watch the subs, which I used to do. I just don't have enough time to do it. Okay. Okay. Dope. Okay. Yep. Always exclusive to the PS4. Okay. All right. Um, if you guys want to check the trail out, you can check it out on uh, Game Rant. That was uh, a quick 40, 44 seconds. Uh, though not much has been revealed about the new Demon Slayer game, uh, uh, will entail. Cyber Connect 2 has a track uh, record that suggests that it will at least be worth looking into for fans of the anime. Uh, that being said, Dragon Ball Z character right players are still waiting. Uh, on the season pass to be uh, released, uh, so hopefully the developers have not put too much on their plates. Um, okay, I'm not going to read any more there. My whole thing of it is with Cyber Connect, when it comes down to their games, it's pretty much always the same games over and over again. And as my brother Mugenor would say, that was one of the particular reasons why they was fired from uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and they wound up uh, working on the system itself, which they should just did from the jump. You know, Square has always worked on RPGs for years, and same thing with uh, Enix before they were Square Enix before, and they always had good, amazing RPGs too. They were rival rival RPG companies, but when it comes down to Cyber Connect, I'm pretty much like done and over with with them. Um, I, I bought like a like a mini of like many of games from Cyber Connect. I wound up stop buying the Storm games uh, eventually. I had no idea Cyber Connect had did uh, was it Project GU, which is uh, Hack GU. Um, I owned all those games on um, the PlayStation 2, but also I bought the remake, uh, the remake uh, of uh, GU, which I beat, by the way. Uh, when it comes down to Cyber Connect, they have a great turnover rate when it comes down to making these games. But when it comes down to the combat or just comes down to gameplay, period, it's always like re 
like reusing the same like uh rehatching the same dog on mechanics and stuff and i'm just tired of cyber connect i just i think cyber connect should just work on graphics and let somebody else do gameplay for like for once and most likely we're going to get like a half a half a game most likely same old same old stuff i just wish cyber connect learned some new tricks is because i'm just sick of it um are my friends excited for this game i'm pretty sure they are because most of them have watched demon slayer and most of them probably have seen the movie um i'm eventually i'm going to check this thing out once i have some time it's just i don't have too much time to read subs anymore that's why i always look for dub animes or popular animes and stuff like that. and some that are not so popular at the same time you know um like far as though i just hope cyber connect just um uh eventually just just come up with some new ideas and the reason why these companies hired them because of this turnover rate that they have and stuff and this just gives them no room for improvement, but also at the same time, we're to blame too as consumers because we keep purchasing these games. But also at the same time, the reason why I purchase these these, these games is because for collection value. But actually, I'm adding on to the problem too as well, I guess. But anyway, guys, that about does it uh, for the gaming news. Uh, don't forget the bell button, the subscribe button to get notifications to my channel. And guys, do not forget to hit that bell button and don't forget the comments because that's very, very important to the algorithm, guys. And uh, I have some more um, gaming news coming up and some more uh, How Wiz series coming up. But also, guys, I got a few discussion videos that I'm going to be doing with Moving Learn DX Strike this week, which I'm excited about. This is uh, Kill Lancer, and we got more here.